guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are reacting to ghost animal sightings. I didn't even know animals could turn into ghosts. Well, if you can turn into a ghost, why can't your dog turn into a ghost? So you're saying that a lizard could be a ghost? I think a lizard could sliver up into your bed while you didn't even know about it and... <laughs> sliver up scared. inside of you. Washington DC Demon Cat. Said that in the capital, in Washington DC, there's a ghost cat lurking in the dark. He's known as it? the what Demon Cat. <laughs> His color is almost impenetrable black and his eyes are bright red. Popular theory that the demon cat appears before important events or to portend disaster. For the stock market crash of 1929, the cat was seen. It was also seen in the days before the Kennedy assassination in 63. Are they blaming a ghost animal on the Kennedy assassination and the stock market crash? Your demon cat is not causing all the world's worst events. How do people even see its eyes? If you were to see a cat's eyes, you have to be this close to it, right? They're no, but they're close. red glowing eyes like a demon. Okay, I just don't understand how they blame all those horrible events. I think demon cat. those horrible events happened and they were just like, who did it? There was that thing! Blame other things for your problems. That's how you get out of it. In this video, we are gonna have a little competition about who can try to emulate what these animals would sound like in their life. Comment down below who you think has the better animal noises. If I could make a noise of a demonic cat, it'd be something like If a cat sounded like that, <laughs> I would just sprint. That sounded so human. That would be really scary, actually. Because <laughs> a cat, I'm thinking of like hissing. You know, maybe like. <laughs> I, I feel like no noise came out right there. What? That's like, like a hiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what a f cat sounds like. What are you talking about? Abel Hampton ape. A unusual ghost here at Athelhampton Hall is that of an ape. Now, it was the family what? pet of the Martins in the 1500s, and the story goes that the- That's where you go wrong. Who has an ape as a pet? It was the 1500s, so I don't know if they knew. It's just because they're the 1500s doesn't mean they're just dumbasses. <laughs> well, I feel like more people nowadays own chimpanzees before they, like, murder you. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're like, this would be cool. Oh shit, they're, they're actually me. just like wild animals. And the story goes that the ape was trapped in a secret passageway behind the walls, uh -huh. and often what? it can be heard scratching to get out. Oh, he that's gonna say. Upstairs and find a secret passageway. He was getting information uh -huh. from his spirit guide, Sam, about the legend of the- Yo, I am the ape. <laughs> Wait, the spirit guide was an ape? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Maybe the ape's spirit guide? This is the stairwell down. And the monkey used to go and it's going to the monkey. <laughs> Imagine we go into an investigation trying to search for animals instead of humans. We're trying to have a conversation with like an ape. Beat on your chest like an ape. You like are here right now. <laughs> How would you even tell that you're communicating with an ape? <laughs> you can't <laughs> talk to an ape. That was really good. All right, but now if I'm, I'm an ape, I'm going to be way down here. <laughs> Jesus, man. Comment down below if you guys think we should ghost hunt apes next. Preston the Ghost Boxer. In Nashville, America. Whoa, I thought they were talking about Jake Paul. They're talking about this type of boxer. He turns around and punches you in the face. To be more <laughs> Talk though is f***ing ripped. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Many witnesses say that okay. every Halloween you hear the distant barking of a dog. Also, one year a little boy had been distracted in the middle of the road just as a car was speeding Whoa, towards him, a boxer came out of some nearby trees and pushed the boy out of the way. Oh, the dog that's awesome. A beloved old lady in the community leaves doggy treats on her front porch every Halloween night. She says for Preston's sake. That's a necklace. Sake. It's the least she could do. I don't think the dog should eat the necklace. What if it was just a dog? That's like, what I mean. Got the treat and then dipped or like pushed the guy out of the road and then dipped. Didn't they just say like, just heard dogs barking on Halloween night? Yeah, well it scares away or protects the kids or whatever. Like how do you know that's a ghost? Where's your proof that there's ghosts? Come mm -hmm. on the Sam and Colby channel. We'll find your boxers. That boxer dog in human form, you like strong buff as sh and its arms are like this. Cause you know, that's how boxers stand. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. That's pretty good. I think it would be like, ooh, ooh. Why does he shove his neck out like that? Ooh, ooh. Crescent Hotel Ghost Cat. We saw this one. What was its name though? Extra credit points. Can you remember? Do you know it? It's like one of those things that's actually on the tip of my tongue. Yeah, and you want to scratch a little bit. God. Crescent Hotel Ghost Cat. Morris. Morris. What? Oh my god! Do 
you see that? <laughs> I can't <laughs> see it. This sh oh, like three, the last see like three or four letters. Oh, cool. I see that. Well, we already did a cat once. I think Morris is super chill. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I think that's Morris's sound. I don't think he even wanted to talk to us. I'm gonna see if I can do a purr. Pretty damn good. Silver City Ghost Dog. You know where Silver City is? No, what's Silver City? I'm pretty sure it's in Missouri. <laughs> Have you been to Silver City or something? Silver Dollar City, right? That's Silver Dollar know. City is not the same as Silver City. This bizarre this photo sense. was taken by Kathy Owen of Silver City, California. Oh my god. And clearly shows what appears California. to be the ghostly face of a dog peering through the window. That's, what, that's not a dog. Not. Yes, it is! Oh, it's a golden! Retrieve. Oh my gosh, wait, no, I think that is a Cocker Spaniel. So oh, ones with the long curly ears and... Cock <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While many have claimed that the face has to belong to a ghost dog, others what remain a little happen? more skeptical, suggesting that it may simply be a real dog who is peering through a very dirty window. Mm. However, the dog certainly does appear to exhibit the qualities often associated with an apparition. Its head doesn't seem to be oh, wait, connected yeah, to its body, like mirror, and it has a wispy right? ghost-like appearance. It's a mirror, but while there is little information like available there. about the photo, it's difficult to know for sure what ass. exactly has been captured. I think that was actually there. That might have been there. There's just one picture. I like the cat video because it was actually walking. Well, what does a cocker spaniel sound like in comparison? I don't know a f cocker spaniel. What do, what do they even sound like? <laughs> That's all I'm gonna that, say. To me, I got the wall out of that. <laughs> <laughs> a little yappy dog. Ooh. Deeper. We've done so many dogs, but I don't know what a cock sounds like. Oh, you went deeper. Speaking of cock, the ghost chicken of Pond Square. Tessis Fury, Sir Francis Bacon, went to a poor woman's house at the bottom what of the street. What are we looking at? And purchased a chicken from her. He also had a bunch of cock. Why did that actually look like a f***ing cock? Yo, that looks like a hairy cock he just punched. <laughs> looks like a fucking little hairy set cock. The bird was handed over, Sir Francis Bacon wasted no time and went about packing the prepared chicken with snow and voila. There you have the very first frozen chicken. The pale, vengeful, phantom Frozen fowl has chicken. been seen on many occasions, mostly during cold weather, roosting on branches of trees or frantically running around in circles whilst flapping the both of its wings. All the while it can be seen shivering in the cold. Some accounts state oh, that the bird so comes sad. birds squawking loudly, whilst others say it is silent. How do you prove that that was a ghost? The first one that they ever froze something like that and then after they froze it they could see it still running around mm. so that's why it's a ghost because it's the first one. First one stayed on earth it did not move on yeah and it was frozen and it was skin only with some <laughs> so what's a ghost uh cock sound like <laughs> Was that bad? Was that good, guys? Oh, that's pretty damn good, dude. Stanley Hotel Ghost Cemetery. In recent oh, years, they have a full-on pet the cemetery. Stanley Hotel has we never dug went up here. their pet cemetery. I don't think so. To make room for a wedding and corporate retreat pavilion, but it's believed amongst many paranormal <gasps> groups that moving the graves <laughs> will bring oh my God. unintended consequences oh, because fuck. the area. Ah! Oh my God, many dude, these are scary pictures. Spooky events. Spooky events. Those pictures are terrifying. Oh my God. All right, so how we're gonna do this is we gotta represent an entire pet cemetery of dogs, chickens. So chickens are a part of the pet cemetery? Pet. You, know, no sense. you know a pet chicken? <laughs> we're gonna try to represent the entire cemetery right now. <laughs> Standing goat! I don't oh think this is God. normal goat behavior. That's terrifying and funny at the same time. <laughs> and the cock's following him. <laughs> oh God. The cock's like, what's he doing? Dude? That's so scary. Dude. Oh my God. <laughs> that cock was gonna f that dog. He's like, let me follow you. Dude. Screaming goats, that's what they sound like, right? <laughs> you know, don't goats sound like really fucking weird? Oh yeah. <laughs> I think that's a sheep. Yeah, so it's either like, yeah, something like that's, that. That's <laughs> either more sheep. Or that's screaming. Sheep. It's more like, uh, fuck, how do I do this? <laughs> I thought it was, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. I thought it was something like, <laughs> was it like in the, Yeah, in the, in the Taylor Swift thing. <laughs> you know what, actually? I have a clip of me on the internet where I sound like this. <laughs> 
That's exactly like the Taylor Swift music video. I get tagged in that every day. <laughs>